Hi, I'm Sperry Hutchinson with U-Haul. Today I'm going to show you how to install a hitch on a Chevy Impala. This hitch is going to allow you to tow up to 3,500 pounds of gross trailer weight. That's the trailer and everything in it. And it's also going to allow up to 300 pounds of tongue weight. That's important for hitch accessories such as cargo carriers or bike racks. So let's get started. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. Okay, on this particular installation, we're gonna have to access some holes that are uh, up and above the mufflers. And so before we drop the exhaust, which we're going to do, I wanna support it because there's a lot of weight at the rear of this uh, system. So let's run a support strap uh, and I'm going to attach it from one end of the sway bar to the other. I'm gonna leave this a little slack so that we can allow the exhaust to <clears throat> come down once I've removed these hangers. Okay, I'm gonna remove the rubber exhaust hangers using a long pry bar. With the four exhaust hangers off of our mufflers, there's one more to do, and that's right here in front of this uh, junction here. And now our exhaust is loose and hanging from that support strap. Provided in our kit are six bolts and six nuts, washers, and these square uh, retaining plates and we're going to install these up into our frame rails and note that the shorter these uh, inch and a quarter long carriage bolts are going to be installed in the frame rail the longer inch and three quarter bolts are going to be installed in the rear cross member and we've got a fish wire that's also included in the kit that's going to help us install these components so let's get into that Okay, these are our two holes on either side of this access hole that we're going to install our hardware in. So I'm gonna first take the fish wire provided in the kit and lace it through the access hole and out of my intended bolt hole. I'm gonna take that square punched plate, lace that onto my fish wire, and then thread the bolt into this coiled section and that's gonna retain all of this hardware. When I push the plate up and the bolt to follow, simply pull it down where it needs to be. For the remaining frame bolts, I'm just going to repeat that same action with the fish wire, the plate, and the bolt. And again, our longer inch and three quarter carriage bolts are going to be mounted on the outside of these two pairs of holes in our rear cross member. And we're gonna access exactly where I've got my fish wire coming through using the access hole on the outside edge of the square cross member. Train sounds, that's right.
Now, before I get the hitch uh, in place here, I want to take these four fish wires and as a little uh, bit of a uh, tip, I'm gonna lace them back onto my uh, bolts that are here in the frame, just in case the hitch, as we're putting it up into place, pushes those bolts out of the plates. It's gonna make it really tough to reaccess those. Now, I'm wheeling the hitch into place using this uh, really creative U-Haul hitch jack. If you don't have one of these at uh, your home garage, just get a second uh, set of hands, a helper, somebody that will help you lift the hitch into place and we can get the hardware on. Okay, I've got my hitch close to where I want it and I've used these fish wires to uh, guide these bolts down through the slotted holes in the hitch. Now I can go ahead and lift that up into place and get the hardware started. Our hardware consists of these toothed washers and half inch nuts and the toothed side of the washer always goes up against our hitch. Remove the fish wire. Hello. Okay, I've got a three quarter inch socket. I'm just gonna take all of the hardware that I installed by hand and snug it up before we put a final torque on everything. Okay, now we're just gonna finish our fastener install by torquing everything down to the final torque spec that's called out in the instructions. Now that I've got all of our hardware torqued to spec, all that's left to do is to reinstall our exhaust hangers. Of course, don't forget to remove the security strap that you were hanging your exhaust with. Okay, with our hitch in place, we can see a couple of the features here. The inch and a quarter receiver tube with this reinforcing collar welded upon it. Uh, our pinhole here to secure whether it's a ball mount or again, the accessories, uh, cargo carriers, bike racks, and then this uh, welded uh, chain stay that's gonna allow us to uh, loop any kind of security chains, uh, trailer safety chains uh, through that. Uh, a really nice clean installation. It's uh, tucked under and uh, a good ways back of our uh, rear fascia. So a very nice hitch. Thanks for watching. A couple key measurements to know about your new hitch on your Chevy Impala is the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 12 and a quarter inches. That's gonna help you determine the right ball mount, whether it's a rise or a drop to get the trailer coupler where you want it to be, as well as the hitch pinhole to the rear fascia on this vehicle is six and a half inches. That's gonna help you when selecting a, a bike rack or a cargo carrier, any kind of a hitch accessory that has a vertical component to it.
To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.